G'day, John Canny here. About to head off out to uh, Queensland's Outback again. Going with my mate Leo, who's come up from Victoria. So uh, basically a couple of old blokes going out to the bush. But we've done it uh, quite a number of years now. Uh, this is the first time we're taking the uh, trailer. Normally we're just sleeping in swags, but uh, I don't know. This time we're going to uh, go with the van. So we're heading off. So I thought I'd uh, just talk to you about how I've prepared my stock standard Ford Ranger. It's uh, well prepared. We're not, uh, we're not rock climbers. We're not extreme four wheel drivers. What we are is overlanders. We go to the remotest areas that we can find uh, and we want to be prepared. So I'm going to go through my vehicle today, just show you what I've got on board. If you've got any suggestions and things I've missed out, please let me know <laughs> in the comments. I'm happy to be told I'm an idiot and I've missed out something. Uh, if not, terrific. But I've got one problem. This is what's been popping up lately. Ford have told me, no problem, John. You're right, you check. Nothing's gonna happen. We've checked every single possible thing. Um, okay, it's an interesting warning. But what I'm finding with this particular warning is that engine temperature hasn't ridden, risen. It's the, nothing's overheating. So I'm gonna risk it, I'm going. Ford have assured me I can do it and I won't get into any problems. Let's have a look at how ready we've got the vehicle. So I'll start at the front. What we've got on the front uh, is an Ironman bull bar, steel bull bar, so it's uh, nice and strong. As you can see, there's a couple of intensity ARB uh, spotlights on the front, one spot, one broad. And of course, I've got a 1200 carbon winch mounted on the front there. Underneath, We've got a couple of uh, rated recovery hooks. Again, they're from Iron Man to match the uh, bar. And of course we go to the tires. So I've got KO2s on here. Uh, very happy with the KO2s. Uh, I've got 18 inch rims, which are the standard rims on the Ford Ranger. Haven't found it necessary to uh, upgrade to a, a 17 inch or change to a 17 inch. I think these have been more than adequate for me uh, I can air down enough uh, on sand. I've never had any problem on sand. Uh, so we'll give it a try when we get out in the bush in the mud. On here we've got a snorkel. This is the uh, standard uh, Ford Ranger snorkel. Uh, I've gone with the Ford Ranger snorkel because I'm uh, not so keen in, in putting big holes in the, the side of my guard here. Uh, this uh, attaches through the vent that's on the side there and seems to do the job adequately. So let's move around to the other side. You may have noticed on here we've got uh, an antenna for the UH, UHF radio. So I've mounted the uh, the iCamper uh, rooftop tent this time on the uh, Rhino rack that I have on the back of this canopy. This canopy is a carry boy canopy. Uh, sliding windows because I've got a couple of large dogs which I have in there you might notice a couple of camp lights under there as well and of course up the top there we've got some uh, max tracks another two to go on there yet so there's only two there at the moment if we move around the back we can have a look um, here of course is my camper van a few of you will have seen this before so I won't go over what's in the camper van. Let's have a look in the back. So this is what I'm carrying in the back of my ute. Uh, as you can see, I've got six jerry cans of fuel there because uh, where we'll be going, fuel is not, uh, is not often available. I've got a second spare tire in there. I've got a chainsaw. I've got my recovery gear and I've got a uh, compressor in the bag here also I've got a second battery here this is a kick-ass battery 120 amp with the red arc BC DC 1225d charger on top this is my own little invention down here 
that's where I keep this spout. It's a bit of tube. Uh, I've got a removable cap on the bottom with a bit of rag. So when I finish emptying out the diesel uh, from the jerry cans, pop it in there. Any drips go in there, keep everything clean. We'll have a quick look inside the vehicle. Nothing much to see in here. Uh, car seat covers. I have uh, a tire pressure monitor here which monitors the tires in the trailer, heat and uh, pressure. Uh, obviously, a GME radio. Uh, this little thermostat here it keeps an eye on my fridge, even though it's a Mike Coolman, and I can uh, monitor it through the phone as well. Um, not much else in here of interest. A few other little bits and pieces I like to keep. This is my little... Uh, Olight Mini Warrior Mini attached up there, and of course, my uh, emergency window breaker down there. In the back behind the seat, I'm carrying a few things a fire extinguisher, yeah, sure, probably should be easier to get to than it is, but uh, that's where I've got it for the moment. I've got my Gulo jump starter, I've got a spare pair of jumper leads, fire, uh, first aid kit snake bite kit other essentials of course and of course uh, my bar and tool nothing unusual under here I've got uh, an isolation switch here for the winch uh, over here I have got my uh, directions plus fuel filter pre-filter uh, I've got an ARB diff breather other than that everything else is standard so that's pretty much it we're ready to go we've got the van at the back as you can see looks a bit uh, uneven at the moment but that's the driveway uh, we'll be heading off so the next time I'm talking to you we could be knee-deep in mud in uh, Queensland's outback but let's let's see we're off for an adventure thank you for watching hopefully you'll tune in to a, a few of the adventures we have out uh, uh, while we're out there and uh, subscribe to my channel if you could helps me uh, encourages me to make more uh, of these videos and we'll see what happens out in the bush okay thanks again